awesome mother, dead child. Mark, help me understand this. Uh, that sounds like even more than denial, it's, it's sort of a repudiation of reality. Yes, yes. And Dr. Drew, what we're seeing here a lot from Cindy is there's a lot of body language that's consistent with self-deception. She reaches for her nose a couple times when she talks about things being truthful or honest. She literally throws her hands in the air like, that's what I'd like to believe, but I have to throw it in the air. She may not on a conscious level believe that, um, uh, maybe on a conscious level she doesn't believe that it's not true, but subconsciously she knows she knows, that she knows she better. Knows. Mark Iglash, what's your opinion on that? You guys help me. I mean, I, I, my, my, <laughs> at, the at, at the core, at the core, I'm thinking, I'll, I'll quote my wife on this one. We're watching it today, and she said, this is clearly a mother who one day wants to have a reunion with her only daughter and is either consciously or subconsciously not willing to accept what is painfully obvious so that she can one day have a, you know, a get-together with her daughter and live happily ever after. And you know what? I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. It's her choice. Not my choice, it's her choice. She has the right to do that. And then, of course, America has the right to yell and scream and get angry. And then I ask, how's that working out for you? <laughs> and Mark Iglash, I, I'm, I'm, as you're talking, it's funny, I just was thinking about some cases I've dealt with where family members, when, when, when kids have brain injuries and head injuries and head encephalitis and end up with these rather subtle, complex neuropsychiatric problems, I have had parents actually... Be, maintain such denial and defense against admitting that there's a child with a neurobiological impairment that they rather the, dial, the child die in an accident or of a drug overdose uh. than admit that there really is something profoundly wrong with this child because that means they're not going to have a job ever, that they're That's not right. going to lead a normal life. And, they, and you can see Cindy particularly seems dedicated yes. to having the, a perfect sort of a family. Yes. Dr. Drew, what you're saying is exactly right because what we're seeing with Cindy is e even though George is in acceptance that, yes, there's responsibility here on Casey's part, if not 100% guilt, Cindy is completely dedicated to the idea that, that there's no way that Casey could have done this because she, she has this love for her. You but, know? but there's an interesting phenomenon here I'm also seeing in George, which is he should have stepped in 10 years ago and gotten her help. And now that he's realizing she's impaired, now that she's impaired, she's capable of horrible behavior, now I'll have nothing to do with you. Yes, yes. So it, it's, the, it's the flip side of the same, co same coin, which is you're perfect. You're trash. That's right. And, and that's, not, that's not reality. I mean, well, it is now, unfortunately. And they, <laughs> it's, they, it's their reality. It's their reality now. <laughs> it could have been, it could have been uh, sort of changed had they intervened.